hi there uh, today I'll show you how to replace the charging port on the LG G3 so the first thing you have to do is dismantle the whole phone put it on the um, PCB holder okay I've seen this um, black sticky stuff on the LG G3 which is quite annoying to peel off so the f uh, the easiest way I've actually found to peel this off is just um, heat it up uh, on about uh, 250 degrees and uh, just poke it and just try to remove it. It was quite an annoying job to do to be honest with you removing this black stuff because it was like uh, I don't know cement or something and I don't even know why they actually put it there I, no I think I do you know I think they put it there to uh, make the charging port stronger because most of the time uh, when the micro USB charging port breaks it just uh, takes all the soldered pads uh, with it on the PCB so this is what I think they put it on so I'm not gonna bore you with uh, removing this black stuff because actually uh, take me quite a while to remove it so I will just skip the video and put you on the main job there we go so uh, uh, eventually uh, remove the black stuff and while I was heating it up um, I couldn't actually uh, record that uh, taking off the charging port um, the way you actually take it off is just once you remove the black stuff just um, heat the whole charging port on around 420 degrees because that's uh, I, I know it's a bit uh, more temperature that I use for uh, removing the charging ports or anything but I found it easier okay I was using the um, uh, soldering wick there it was quite an awful I think it was a cheap product and it didn't actually work well for me so what I used instead was this sucking you know solder sucking thing so I just touch the tip of the solder on the um, solder on the PCB and just suck it out I found it quite convenient actually instead of wicking all the soldering out and right there I'm just I'm still trying to do that uh, the the best way to do it is try and apply a lot of flux because the flux help solder to flow and that's how you can easily take it off and once uh, you can see all the holes are emptied and the solder is gone from there you can just uh, clean the flux that you put on it okay the material that I use for um, cleaning the PCBs or the PCB cleaner I don't remember the name of it but if you ask me then I'll write it uh, on the comments below so uh, that might uh, help you finding that stuff you can actually use the 99% alcohol for that as well but I find this PCB cleaner faster and efficient in cleaning than the 99% of alcohol so there we go I'm just gonna mount it back to the PCB holder and then I'm gonna put the new charging port on A little bit of more cleaning. Okay.
there we go we've got the new charging port now so I'm just gonna place it there and then start soldering uh, it uh, point by point as you will see in the video later on the best way to do it is like um, touching the charging port pin with your solder tip and just try and touch the solder on it so that you just uh, observe the solder in it so I've done it uh, all the way through
Okay, I know it's quite uh, boring to see how all these things are happening. Uh, this is why I actually quit my recording. But it's almost done anyway. So once we are done, we are going to check uh, if all these soldered pins have been soldered properly. So it seemed okay to me. I've been editing the video in the meanwhile, you know, in the middle because um, it actually took me a longer than it usually does. Because I think I was a bit tired while I was doing that, uh, and the customer was waiting. So I'm gonna stop talking uh, until we get to the next stage which would be testing the phone and so till then just carry on watching if you want to see uh, something which might be important for you to learn this and uh, i will just start talking when the next stage comes okay so i have tested i mean not tested but you know i've checked if all my solder soldered pins are soldered on the pcb so i'm just trying to assemble this phone back again and i'm gonna try if the job that i've done is working fine which i will demonstrate to you in a bit so i'm just gonna put a couple of screws in just to hold everything in place so that I can just test it There we go. Uh, I tried to turn on the phone there, but it actually had no battery, in it, so it didn't come on. And as you can see, the job we were doing is replacing the charging port, and it does work fine, as you can see the sign on uh, the screen. Thank you for watching, and please do subscribe.